Hello everyone, it's me, James E.I. Jaymaker, and in today's video, I'll be reading to you a mystery story from Reddit. Not a horror story. No, no, no. No. It's going to be a mystery story. So if you're ready, I'm ready to read it, and I hope you're ready to enjoy it. Let's get reading the story. Alright? Okay. Okay, let's get to the story. Okay, the story is called The Night Rider, and it's by... U slash capital H eight S pants. Okay. And it's called the Night Rider. Alright. And the and the story begins. It was a cold and windy November night. Through the sound of the blowing winds, you could just hear his motorcycle rev up. A gray sedan drove past and the night rider pulled off the shoulder and onto that dirt road, tailing the car. He rode next to the sedan, matching speeds, and yelled for the man to pull over. Stupidly, he listened. The night rider told him that his car was leaking and to look for himself. As the unknown man looked under the car, a gunshot echoed. Within seconds, the rider was speeding off. Oh boy. The sheriff of Wilson County was on site. Who was killed again? asked the sheriff. Hayden Beeson, a bank robber who has been wanted for six months now, replied the replied the de replied the detective ain't this the same way max sonoma was killed last week and wasn't he a killer too the sheriff questioned yes sir where that two wanted men are suddenly killed huh you behind this sheriff the detective asked <laughs> i hope not otherwise that's vigilantism <laughs> vigilantism oh uh, boy i hope not but if it's the case that'd be a good that'd be a good uh a good twist of the story <laughs> Oh boy. Anyways, I digress. Let's get back to the story. Yes, sir. Word that two wanted men are... Wait. I already read that, yeah. Okay, here we go. Nope, but someone is. You reckon law enforcement? Or just someone trying to be a hero? Queried the sheriff. Or a vigilante, but I digress. I don't think hero, but we'll see. Okay. The, the, the detective responded, not sure. Could be either or. Heh. <laughs> Well, hmm. well, you just let me know what you find out. I gotta head back into I gotta head back into town," said the sheriff. Later that same night, the night rider would strike again. This time, killing a child predator who was only sentenced to a year in prison. He was released by he was he was released only three months ago. Oh, sh so that's three. That's three people. That's three people that were killed that did serious messed up things. And they were killed by this vigilante. I wouldn't say hero, but vigilante. Who might be a criminal himself. That's... Oh, that's kind of worrisome, but okay. The detective ran into the sheriff's office with his laptop in hand. Sheriff, Sheriff, look what my team has just found. On the screen was a small little known chat website called Peso Chat. On it, the detective had found a thread named Night Riders. It consisted of six people who discussed terrible criminals who, had, who hadn't been caught. They talked about chasing them down and killing them. These people included Max Sonoma and Hayden Beeson, two of the Night Rider, two of the Night Riders' victims. Huh. Shortly, shortly later, the phone rang. A state trooper had found the body of a man on a motorcycle on top of a mountain, shot in the back of the head, with a note attached to his bike. The sheriff had arrived and read that note. Dear Sheriff, I'm the Night Rider. I do that, sorry. <laughs> I have a gang of six people who are all dedicated to the same idea, giving vengeance to those who deserve it. We are not senseless killers like you, and the media makes us out to be. We simply kill those who deserve to be punished for what they have done. This man was part of our gang, and so we thought. He didn't have the same ideas as us. He joined our gang to justify his killings. He robbed and killed those who didn't deserve to be robbed or killed. If you would like, we could help you. We, we could join in the police force and help track down these terrible people. Or you could leave us, and we continue doing what we do. Your choice, Sheriff. Sincerely, the Night Rider. I had to do that in the Batman voice. It was so freaking cool, though. <laughs> Shit, that's so cool. Anyways, back to the story. The Sheriff stood there with an angry look on his face as he heard a motorcycle drive away on the, on the dirt path from the woods. Him and all the deputies knew that the Night Rider was right, and they knew that was him. As the sun fell, five men on their motorcycles drove down that old dirt path looking for their next kill. 
looking for their next kill. Yeah. Holy crap. And that's the end of the story. Oh my. My god. Oh. Well, I guess it wasn't the sheriff. Who knew? Actually, I knew. Because I know the sheriff wasn't going to be that much of a... How should I say? He wasn't going to be that insane to, to, break, to break his own law and become a vigilante. Because... You have to follow the process of being a of being a police officer. You just can't go out and kill people. You gotta actually follow the law, and you gotta arrest them, process them, and all that stuff. the The judicial system is the one that hands out punishments, like either life sentences, and very rare, but it does happen. But they do issue death penalties to those who've done extremely heinous, messed up, horrendous, effed up things to other people. And most and, and ten out of ten times they deserve it, and they do. But um, this was a quite a quite a mystery. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I did not know that was going to end that way. And honestly, I hope they didn't find the next victim, because uh, well, if you want my opinion, it, some some are going to disagree with this. I believe vigilantism is still illegal. Whether you believe these men, these people are doing evil things and they should be locked up and are not getting caught because of that, doesn't give you the right to get go out there and, you know, doesn't give you, doesn't give you the right to go out there and stop them yourselves. And that if that means killing them from stopping what they're doing, then no. Because that's not your job. You're just doing, you're just becoming a criminal yourself. You're just murdering people. Even though if they're evil people, you're still murdering them. So really, you're not doing anything good. You're just becoming what they were. And that's what you gotta look at yourself in the mirror. And say, what did I just do? And if you get caught, you better be prepared to serve a life sentence. God forbid, a death sentence. Because you know what? That's probably what these five are gonna get. It's, it just shakes my damn head. It's just shaking my damn head. Man. Unfortunately, we get that in, in reality as well during these times, so it doesn't surprise me. But still, just shaking my damn head. I tell you. This ain't right. But, I digress. What do you think of today's story? Let me know down in the comment section what you think of today's story, and do you think vigilantism is legal, or do you think it should be illegal and outlawed? I know it is, but what do you think? What and what do you think of what ha of, and what do you think of the story? And how do you think? And what do you think of the ending of the story? Just give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. All right. Cool. With that being said, that's the end of story hour, and that's the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, keep being you. Have a great day. God bless. Be you. Be unique. And be unusual. And peace out. Peace out. Peace out, guys. See you in the next video, and stay positive.